you see, mathematicians don't really work for money. We work for, in the old days you said we work for the glory of God. Nowadays we work for beauty or truth or, you know, satisfaction. My name is Michael Atia. I'm a mathematician interested in physics and well on of the revival and that makes you famous for centuries to come. Actually, that's a surprise. Only if, by accident, I wasn't planning to work on any other at all. I'm not a number theorist. Yet, I was working on something quite different, doing a problem in physics. My solution will differ is I come at it from a totally new point of view. So it's like, if you're trying to assault something by a front door, you might find it's impenetrable. If you go around the side, there'll be a very easy entrance around the back. I never thought of doing that. And my hypothesis says just that. All science, all technology are in intimately related. You make a discovery here, and five years later, 50 years, it's used over there. Look at our modern world. It's all based on electromagnetism. You can't predict what the application will be if they are fundamental. Understanding the nature of electromagnetism was obviously fundamental. If it's fundamental and you really go to its roots, then you've got an enormous potentiality to influence. Mathematics are like a jigsaw puzzle. You have thousands of bits. Mathematicians, and their job is to put them together to make nice theories. Eventually, we will have robots that will do everything for us, and they will take over mathematics. I said nonsense. You're never going to beat you see, human evolution. The human brain is vastly more complicated than people think. If you have big data, you can solve every problem. If you've got bigger data than the other guy, you'll win. The big problems of the world are bigger than the big data.